Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about using while loops in Java. A while loop is basically a structure inside of our Java code, which allows us to execute a certain block of code uh, a bunch of times. So I can create a while loop and I can specify some code inside of that while loop. And then the code inside the while loop will just get continually executed through until a, concert, until a certain condition is false. So I'm gonna show you guys like the most basic while loop in the world. We'll talk about what they do and how they work. So over here inside of my main method, I'm just gonna create a variable. And I'm just gonna call this int i, and I'm gonna set this equal to zero. Actually, why don't we set this equal to one? And this int i is basically gonna be used as an indexing variable. So I'm gonna use it to determine how many times I've gone through my while loop. So now let's create a while loop. Basically the way you do that is just by typing out while and open and close parentheses and then an open and closed curly bracket. Inside of these parentheses now, I can put a condition. So this is how while loops work. Basically inside of these parentheses, I put a condition and I'm gonna keep running through the code inside the body of the while loop as long as this condition up here is true. So let's say I put a condition up here, i is less than 10, or less than, let's say less than or equal to 10. Now I will keep executing the code inside of this while loop as long as our variable i is less than or equal to 10. So what I can do is I can put some code in here and why don't we just print out i to the screen. So I'm just gonna print out i. So I'm printing out this variable i. And then after this, I'm gonna, increment i by one. So I'm gonna say i is equal to i plus one. So every time we go through this while loop, I'm gonna be adding one to i. And actually there's a, a simple shorthand we can use in Java. Instead of typing out i is equal to i plus one, I could just type out i plus plus, and this will do the same thing. So i plus plus will just add one to i. So it'll increment i. So basically what's happening is we're gonna execute the code inside of this loop as long as i is less than or equal to 10. So let's see what happens. I am going to save this and we'll run our program. And you can see over here, our program is done running and it basically printed out numbers one through 10. So it printed out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to 10. So what happened was we went into this while loop and our program said, okay, is i less than or equal to 10? And initially i was set equal to one, so initially i is less than or equal to 10. Then we printed out i, right? So that's up here, we printed out this one. Then we added one to i. Then since we were done executing all of the code inside of this while loop, we went back up and we checked the condition again. So our Java said, okay, is i less than or equal to 10 now? i is now equal to two, so two is less than or equal to 10. So we came down here and we printed out i, in other words, we printed out two and we got that over here. Then we incremented i, so i is now equal to three. And since we finished executing all the code in the loop, we come back up here and we check the condition again. So after every iteration through this loop, we're checking that condition. And we're saying i is less than or equal to 10. In this case, i was equal to three. It, so it's less than or equal to, we come down here, we print out three. We're gonna keep doing that until i is greater than 10. As so you can see down here, we're never printing out a number that's greater than 10 because if the number was greater than 10, we never would have been allowed to print it out because we wouldn't have passed this condition. So that's the basics of using a while loop. We can specify a condition, and as long as that condition's true, will continually execute the code inside of the loop. Now, I wanna point something out about these while loops. Um, and let's say that we set i up here equal to 11. So I have i is equal to 11 now. You'll notice that the code inside of this while loop is never gonna execute. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we'll just run the program and you'll see nothing gets printed out. So it's a completely blank console. And that's because before our program executes this while loop, it first checks to see if the condition is true or false. So the first thing it does before it executes any code, before it does anything else, is it checks to see if that condition is true. And if that condition is true, 
then it goes through and iterates through the loop. But if this condition is not true, then we don't even touch the while loop. And that's what's happening in this scenario. I is equal to 11, therefore I doesn't pass the test. I is not less than or equal to 10, so we just move on. And that's the basics of a while loop. There's also another type of loop in Java, and it's very similar to a while loop, but it's called a do while loop. So all we have to do to make a do while loop is just take this while block and I can put it down here. And now I can put do up here and we have a do while loop. The difference between a while loop and a do while loop is that a while loop will always check this condition first. So before the while loop executes the code inside of it, it checks that condition. But a do while loop will always do whatever inside of here, and then it'll check the condition. So the do while loop will execute this code first and then check the condition. So I'm gonna show you guys now, we should actually be able to print out 11. And you can see here we have 11. And that's because the do while loop executed this code and then it checked the condition. So that's the difference between a while loop and a do while loop. And while loops can be really useful. There's a lot of situations that we're gonna use them in. There's also another type of loop called a for loop. And a for loop is really awesome. And in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna show you how we can use while loops in certain situations. And I'll also talk to you guys about using for loops. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.